The lift is slowing. You've traveled 55 kilometers. I wonder if it's edible. I'm starving. They don't mind the water anymore. They're getting more capable after every blackout. I think there's more to it. I have a weird feeling that the palace is registering my moves with those icy holographs. Then using the information to improve the abilities of those things. A little far between the dots there, Anne. I just feel like there's some strange rhythm to it. A warped set of rules. You are definitely disposed to find meaning where there is none. As you say, it's in your genes.
They do what I do. They learn from me. I'm certain of it. They can't cross the water, but after I've done it and a blackout has evolved them, they do it without hesitation. And you saw how they were trapped behind the doors, pacing to get to me, and after I opened a few and a blackout, it was second nature to them. These are not crossing the water. So much for your theory. No, that makes perfect sense. They stop doing what I stop doing. I'm curious to learn more about that theory of yours. The one where everything makes perfect sense. Don't you see it? They unlearn as well. It's all tied to the blackout cycles. When the lights are on, the palace keeps track of my actions, registering what I do with those icy ghosts. After some time, it will reboot to update the copies. That's what's causing the blackouts. I get no ghosts when the lights are out. So my guess is that the palace is blind while it's rebooting. When the lights come back on, their abilities match my actions from the previous light cycle. But that would explain why they wouldn't cross the water up there. I didn't touch any water in the light cycle before I reached them. They echo your behavior. Yes, echoes. That's exactly what they are. Another airlock. They're coming. Hurry, get out. just turned off. That means the echoes are not coming, right? You sound like naming them explains everything. To me, the logic of it all only makes the whole thing more absurd. Someone intentionally designed it to be this way. I expected there'd be some obstacles to getting Foster back. You were prepared for this? In your training, I mean. Gods, no. Gramps did talk of great challenges and equally great rewards, but I doubt he knew this is what it meant. You admit he was wrong? Yes and no. I think he managed to find the words, but not their meaning. So any words in your teachings about who built this place? That's the thing. None of us ever knew this place existed. He always gestured at a walled enclosure in the uppermost garden when he talked about the palace. I think we all imagined splendid halls filled with the chosen ones who mastered a self-control so deep it could overcome even death. So he lied to you? He just didn't get into the specifics. 
If we pass the trials all the way to the upper terrace, we would be granted access to the passage. The ones who entered never returned to tell. The translation? I know that now. Back then, we all thought the passage meant the final test. The big one this time. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. Only the strong of mind and body will again reunite as whole. We'd seen resourcefuls break during training. Minds or bodies hurt beyond repair. I can see why you would all strive for that. That wasn't the selling point. The challenge and reward stuff was. Being a resourceful is constant competition, always performing to the best of your ability. But for one to win, others must lose. And losing often meant a life ending. Competition breeds envy. It must have been dangerous for you if you really were as good as you say. Excellence was valued by everyone. The more formidable your competition, the more fruitful the exercise. In the end, everybody won. That's quite the social construct, considering the consequences of losing. That was Gramps' way. He didn't preach. It was pure reasoning. The program made sure all resourcefuls were logically disposed to follow his line of argument to its conclusion. <laughs> How can you deny perfection? How could you? Spontaneity. Chaos. Life. That's how you prove yourself. Why spend eternity to make the best possible you? Potential without release. 